be sure to ask event staff for service so you can assess the customer service. Okay? So ask the event staff about the service. And then don't forget the event must be a ticketed event that requires payment from the attendees. It may not require you uh, to pay, but it does need to require them to pay. And then when you see the uh, my, my grading for you, you'll see abbreviations and it'll say good O. That means basically your paper, that means good observation. Good observation, great observation, way to go. Okay? So that's what I'm looking for. All right? Usually these are quite an enjoyable read for me if they're well written. If they're not well written, I'm stumbling through them. I get kind of frustrated to be per perfectly honest. But if you start out clean, you know, I think there's a little bit of a halo effect. I kind of say, okay, this is going to be good paper. And I start looking for all the good things rather than, man, man how did they miss that? How did they miss that? So please don't do this paper at the last minute. You know, I've got 70 of them to read. I would really like to just kind of enjoy the read. Okay. Um, any questions you might have? Any questions? Yes, Cassie. Um, I'm working a home show this weekend, and can I do that for my event? Like, even though it's a couple of days, like I've seen the behind the scenes, I've done the pre-event stuff. So like I'm really knowledgeable about everything. Yeah, you are, uh, and, and, and yes, a home show would be okay, but the, the biggest challenge, and you can do it, the challenge for you is to take off your event manager hat and to look at it as a consumer coming in. Mm -hmm. If you paid for the ticket and you walked in for the very first time, would you be able to notice whether or not there was good signage pointing in the right direction? Or are you so aware of where everything is that you don't even think about signage. Well, like, I'm working at, like, basically, I'm just following the lady who's in charge of it. I'm not necessarily doing a whole lot. So I could still look at it. Pretty yeah, and what you could do just to help you is, before you, you know, you're probably going to be there from beginning to end, I'm, I'm assuming, okay? Um, you might want to, the next day, just come in as a consumer and just see what it's like. If you're a customer, pay for the ticket. What would it be like coming in? Put on that hat so you can start paying attention to small details. So that's the only challenge that you have when you are part of the event staff, is that it's hard for you to take an objective approach. Let me give you one other example um, of how important it is to pay attention to small little details. Okay? That will be done. I'll get you out of here early. All right? At this one event that we did in Waco, Texas, it was cold outside. Doors opened at 6 o'clock p.m. Well, people started, sh and we had 1,400 people showing up. It was a sold out event. People started showing up outside of the doors at 5.30, it was cold, we had to make a decision. What do you do? Do you let people in, or do you just keep them out there in the cold, they're freezing, and starting to kind of be misty and wet? Well, what we should have done, I was say, we, 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 should, we should have made the decision, and we should have thought about having our ushers and our uh, greeters mention to the people outside, and we should have had a megaphone, so that's a lesson learned. We'll have a megaphone next time, and we'll say, ladies, because it's all women, women, if you will, if you want to go through the fellowship hall over there, there's a hallway that will take you down a hallway into the same doors on the other side, and it'll be nice and warm in that in the building rather than standing out here. You'll still be able to get your seats pretty quickly, but you can go through the hallway and be in the hallway. We didn't think about that. We didn't pre-think what would happen if we had bad weather. Okay? And we thought all the signage would point people to this one hallway, but we didn't do it. It didn't happen. Okay? So we made a mistake there. Lesson learned um, related to that. So those are the kind of details you have to kind of pay attention to and be able to adjust pretty quickly. And if you come in as a consumer thinking about your customer, you'll pick up on that. If you're involved in it in the minutia and you're worried about other things, you won't pay attention to the, to the customer's needs. Okay? Matt. Pardon me? Due date. Due date is on the syllabus. It's April the 3rd. April the 3rd. Okay. Other questions? Anybody have any ideas on what you're going to be doing for yours? You've got some ideas already? Matt? I was going to do the 311. The 311 concert. Okay. Good. Uh, Friday night fights. Tomorrow. Friday night fights. You're going to do yours tomorrow. Where's that going to be, by the way? Shrine Mosque. Shrine Mosque. Okay, that'll be interesting. And, and pay attention to the, to the kind of people that are there. You know, that be, even that, that, that's kind of interesting. I remember, again, going to that hip-hop concert, um, and it was a very interesting experience. 
you know. Um, the people that were there, and, and even to tell you the truth, the parents that would allow their 12-year-old son or daughter to get into the lyrics that were really kind of off, you know. They weren't necessarily the most um, uh, innocent lyrics that were shared from the stage that night. You know, but it was like mom and dad were like, yeah, <laughs> with their kids by their side. You know, I was kind of surprised with that. I really am, but not really, because that happens all the time. So what was your favorite Nelly song? Well, my favorite Nelly song was, no, I don't remember. How'd it go? It did not, well, it did not go up. Sound was terrible. Oh, I mean the song. Oh, I, can, I, can, I can only dance it. I can't do that. I can't. You got the kid. I can only dance it. Other other ideas? What are you guys thinking about? Anything else? I'm not going to have it within April 3rd, but I was going to do the Guns N' Roses they do up at um, Sad Center. I think it's the end of April or something. Guns N' Roses, I didn't know about that. Have uh, you ever heard of it? The um, firefighters uh, boxing match with the um, police. That's Texas. No, I didn't know about that. That's interesting. Yeah, it's fundraiser for something. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Think about fundraising banquets and things like that. Kids might be involved in the American Cancer Society or, or Relay for Life and things like that. And Relay for Life is not a ticketed event, so that may not may not be an appropriate one, but the other ones are typically a ticketed event. Um, other things are a ticketed event. If you go to an event and it falls flat, in other words, if you come back and you said, I, I hadn't noticed much because nothing, was, nothing much has happened, well, then just choose another event. Okay? Keep that in mind. What was like you said? Do you want to say that? Let, me let me talk to you about that. Okay. Let's just say there's an event that you have in mind, like Guns N' Houses, that takes place April 5th or something like that. I have no problem with you just kind of letting me know now so that it's not a last minute decision a week before, oh, I didn't get it done. Dr. Rothschild, can I have an extension? If you just let me know now that that's your plans, by, you just let me know by email. I'm planning on doing an event on such and such a day. I have no problem with you doing it then, and then you're getting it to me within a week. Okay, within a week after that particular day. But you've got to let me know in advance. You can't let me know one week, two weeks, three. If you let me know three weeks or more in advance, I'm cool about that. Okay? Good, good question. Any other questions? All right. Well, gang, um, I think we're done for the day.